You're lying. With years of experience, you don't think you can mislead me. This time, mean? I'm going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men tend to worry me. Bunch of lying bastards. <laughs> Crowds. I don't like people. I'm fine with airplanes. Oh, um, water. drowning. I do not like not knowing what's underneath me. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with rats. Knives, because if you pull a knife, you normally know what you're doing. In my professional opinion. Um... Rats, again. I'll kill a cockroach, but if I see a rat, I'm running. Oh, fuck you, clowns. Can't even look at that. Fuck that. Um... Neither? Is there an option for neither? Let's go with... Gore g crows, babe. Crows. Okay, we're going. You make me nervous. I like that pin though. Do you speed up? The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I thought I was doing pretty good. We'll go with rats again, because I actually like spiders. Uh, crows, because I like you know shots and stuff. Fuck clowns. <clears throat> Great. Um, I'd still go with crows. Great. I'm fine with thunderstorms. It's very interesting. <laughs> I don't understand how that makes a good combination for a Friday night. Maybe you need to go see a shrink. What if you're not really a shrink and I just think you are?
feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? Jealousy, no, nine hours me. until dawn. Josh, Hannah and Beth, Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. This probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. I got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh, more or less, but there's so little. Twenty-two hundred. Matt and Emily, you're doing all right. Um, let's go with gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full. You know what I mean? Huh. Damn it! This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own a place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Probably be unsettled. Yeah, but he want he he likes her. He'd still be unsettled. All right. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, nice talking to you, I guess. That would be really cold. Um, agree or protest? Okay. Uh, absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <coughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Plus, you don't want to friend zone yourself. Let's agree with them. What do you think? Okay. You're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Right. See, I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coach. Or else you got four lovely ladies who be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, once we melted, just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Alright guys, so this footage got lost whenever I originally recorded it, so I'm gonna uh, be picking it back up.
Uh, so there might be a work transition or two. Um, I do already have like three other episodes like ready to go after this, so I won't give any spoilers, but um, we'll just see how well this cinches all together. I'm not gonna read all this, I'll just leave it up. That way y'all can uh, decide to, when y'all wanna read it and whatnot. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. No power. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Ready for the senior prom. Hannah, Sam, Mike, Emily, taken 42513. So, are like these people in like college or something? Like just starting out college? Uh, the controls they're so off sometimes I'm trying to do this part since I'm replaying it as closely to the original way as possible just so that you know, it, just in case something happens it's all the same I never noticed those doors were open though 
uh, or the shutters or whatever they're called. It's kind of creepy. Gotta explore a lot in this game. Sometimes it doesn't turn up anything, but just in case, you know? Jesus, this is a big ass bathroom. What is that noise? Anybody else hear it? God. <laughs> Honey badger don't care give a fuck. <laughs> We're freezing our buns off out here. Oh, uh, so he gets to just, you know, be all cool and shit. I don't get to do that? Don't ask. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> What the fuck is that? A baby bear or something? Crap, that thing was huge. Yeah. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Alright, most of us are Sweet in the house. Home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Oh. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Cheating bastards. Make yourself at home, bro. You'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Twenty-two twenty-eight. Uh challenge or warn? Warn. I would say challenge. Fine challenge. I'm gonna challenge you. What the hell were you doing with Emma on the trail? What? I saw you and Emma. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. In files? Against the law. They've been friends for a while, so I'll apologize. But I'd keep an eye out on him if I get to, you know, right. make that a thing. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah. Don't worry about it. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, 
all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Let's provoke it. Hey, hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncal look whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? You think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack for some reason. I would keep provoking. This is Jessica, funny. You need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. We can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin when I told you about it? Yeah. about that hey, it's right up the trail <laughs> so Josh uh, can we get this fire going where's my bag huh my bag the the little bag with the pink pattern the one I got on rodeo Matt are you are you listening Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I... Porn stars! I'm gonna need these. Porn star? I paid to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries. Washington Lodge Grounds, 2243. Alright, I'm going to end this here for now. Um, see y'all.